Hey everyone, Rob Borgel with Rifle Speed. In this video, let's increase our understanding of gas pressure and how it can adversely affect our weapon, as well as the variables associated with it. So first, let's understand how the gas operating system of our AR-15 works. First, we've got a hole drilled in the top of our barrel that bleeds off a certain amount of gas into the gas block and then back through that straw above the gas block called a gas tube. As that pressure comes back, it pushes back in the bolt carrier group. This is what unlocks the bolt from the chamber area. Now that pressure returns rearward, compressing that spring, ejecting, extracting that casing out, and then it comes forward, batteries that next round and locks it back into position. Now, if we increase that gas pressure a whole bunch, we'll introduce a lot of problems. Most AR-15s with a standard gas block are designed to over gas just a little bit. The reason they do this is to increase reliability across any circumstance you might find yourself in. While this makes sense, when we start dabbling in suppressors or some maybe hotter loaded rounds like green tip ammunition or others, we might find reliability issues. So if we have too much gas, we might find that our bolt runs too fast, and this can cause various malfunctions and a decrease in accuracy, as well as an increase in felt recoil. If we can tune that gas down a little bit, especially when we add a suppressor, which really boosts that back pressure, we can regain that reliability and accuracy out of the weapon. So again, my chief complaint about typical gas systems is we're not having adjustable settings. And if we do, there's usually only one or two. With the rifle speed gas settings, we have 12 different settings and multiple plungers we can change out to really maximize those 12 different settings. So let's dive just a little deeper for a moment in different gas pressure. If you shoot 223 and move to 556, you're going to find an increased back pressure. If you move from 556 to M855, which is the green tip ammunition, you're going to find more back pressure. If you add a suppressor, you're going to find a substantial amount of more back pressure. Now, depending upon the type of suppressor you buy, you might find flow through suppressors that have lower back pressure, but still higher than usual back pressure. You might find very high back pressure suppressors and several in between. The examples you'll see over here, you'll see a medium gas back pressure a low back pressure, and then back to that medium gas pressure. And some have very, very high gas back pressure. So pairing the right suppressor with the right ammunition for your weapon can be very difficult. Having an adjustable gas block really simplifies that and allows you to hop between suppressors and ammunition without these malfunctions. If this video helped you gain an understanding of the Rifle Speed products, or you have similar questions in other Rifle Speed products, please comment in the comment section below. As well, if you'd like to find the full product lineup, check out riflespeed.com.